looks like we're missing the second part of the tour, talking about how they make robots. And I think his tour super secret uh, facilities. But uh, for some reason, Twitch is glitching out. with interchangeable parts. That means we can switch out all kinds of things on them to give them different roles. That's why your household, Mr. Handy, can flip your pancakes, while the armies can fire laser beams and machine guns and flamethrowers and rockets. Just imagine all the cool things your robot could do for you if you could pay as much as the military. Control Center. As you can see, it's a tiny smoke-filled room where our quality control specialists examine parts by hand. Inefficient, you say? Hardly! It's not like you can trust a robot to do this kind of work. And that's the lesson here, kids. Sometimes the real, tedious work needs a human touch, even when it doesn't. Children, it's an iBot. Here's a robot we actually did invent. These little guys broadcast propaganda. Have you heard propaganda before? I bet you have, even if you didn't know it. Propaganda teaches us about how very evil certain ideas are. Never mind if you've heard about a few and they don't seem so bad. No. All foreign ideologies are baseless and inferior, and don't let anyone tell you different. And here we have something highly, highly classified. <laughs> Do you know what classified means? It means you should never, ever talk about it. In fact, it means we, we shouldn't have this posted on a sign in plain sight for all of you lovely Pioneer Scouts. No. Luckily, you kids aren't old enough to read, right? Right?
right, kids. Now we get to learn about another harsh reality of the working world. When all you children grow up big and strong, you get to have a boss. Bosses are smarter, better paid individuals who tell you how to do your job, even when they've never done it themselves. <laughs> and you have to do what they say, even when it's something that doesn't make sense, <laughs> like showing off your secret research lab to cute little pioneer scouts. <laughs> But when you pay the bills, you make the rules. That's the lesson. All right, this concludes our tour. I'm so glad I got to show you all this secret technology we have. Make sure you, your parents, and any next of kin sign the non-disclosure agreements we distribute on the way out. Have a great day. And remember, loose lips sink ships. and probably have to go back to Foundation. screens too. Thanks. I'll take those parts if you don't mind. Here you go. What's next? Next? No. She'll be ready once I finish putting those parts in. Near as I can get her on short notice anyway. Do you know where her foundation is? Well, she told us she saw it from far away. It's where I was originally heading before the mother load started emerging. It was almost like she was herding me here. I was worried she'd spook the settlers there if she popped up. Or spook them more than I might on my own. Other folks have chased me off before. I could say that doesn't bother me, but it eats you away inside to lose all contact with others. All right, so I'll see you in Foundation then. Mm-hmm, I'll head there, presently. Just need to grab a thing or two before I leave. Go over the debug stack from the part install too. So don't worry about checking back in right away. I'm fairly hopeful she won't have exploded. <laughs> Reasonably sure she won't. All 
I'll make sure to tell them that you're coming so they don't shoot you. Please. I'll wear a gas mask and head straight to whomever's in charge. Let them know that you're to blame for my presence. Okay. See you later. Ta. I'm sure Motherload's going to have some issues for me to polish before your mission. But nothing I can't manage. person that I have to get for the, the heist. Assembling the crew twice. Best help is help you give yourself. <laughs> I have not helped these people at all. You've secured our way down to the vault pretty handily, haven't you? <laughs> I just can't believe your luck in finding Dr. Hornwright. It's nothing. I just did what needed to be done. Don't be modest. It makes it even more impressive. All right. I've been working on the next problem we need to solve for busting into Vault 79. That doozy of a laser grid. I figure we've got some experienced scavengers in Foundation already. Folks who know a thing or two about busting bunkers. Small ones, anyway. Thing is, before I even start asking around, our youngest scavenger pops up to tell me she's got it handled. Handled! Before I even told her the problem. Ah, uh, can you be more specific? What are you talking about? Oh, right. Sorry. I've been focusing on the problem too long. Tunnel vision. Let's see. Uh, basically, the problem is that there's really serious laser grids. The kind you can't just cut the power to disable. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. If they lose power for even a fraction of a second, they'll lock the whole thing down for hours. Days, maybe. Do you think she can do it? Honestly, maybe she's tougher than she seems. 
She's been with us for a while, so I can vouch for her loyalty at least. She said she has a way to beat the grid, so I'm inclined to believe her. Anyway, her name is Jen. Go talk to her, and I'll get back to work on figuring out a plan for these military-grade turrets. Wait, back here. Everyone pulls their own weight at Foundation. I'm kind of busy here. Make it quick. Dang it. I don't have the option to ask if she's here. Plumbing. Water is a big deal. Gotta bring it in, clean it up, distribute it. Then take it away and dispose of it. You can always tell a well-run town by the quality of its plumbing and water. We can always use more hands. Uh, what's with the... There's quite another chair. I take it you talked to Paige. You said you found out about the job and wanted to help. I did and I do, yep. But there's something we need to take care of first. It'll be worth it. Okay, what, what can I help you with? So, okay. Hilariously, I'm looking for something that is designed to be invisible. Untraceable. It's a suit that hides you from everything, even laser detection grids. Which would help out with Vault 79, right? Hold on. I take it yeah, you we'll talked talk. to Paige. I did. And so, okay. Hilariously, I'm looking for something that is designed to be invisible. Untraceable. It's a suit that hides you from everything, even laser detection grids. Which would help out with Vault 79, right? Nothing is completely untraceable. Yes, exactly. This tech allowed for other tech from the same origin to see it and report back. If the wearer wasn't where they were supposed to be... Bang! Right? Yeah, so we just have to get that other tech, which is easy to find by comparison, and check its logs. Which means that we need to go out and grab one of those jumpy little liberator bots. Yeah, that untraceable spy tech? It's Chinese. Why a liberator in particular? Liberators like to gossip, speaking in lay terms. They ping each other whenever they see something interesting. It's actually kind of a design flaw. You see that ghoul in a lab? I'll bring you one. All right. I'll see if we have anyone around here who can help out with the next part. Paige said 
you're one of the their best scavengers. How long you've been look? How long you've been doing oh. it? Oh, well, my parents both used to take me along when they went scavenging. They were really good at it, so I picked up some good pointers. So I guess I've been doing this most of my life. I guess a lot of people born after the war and outside of the vaults could say the same. <laughs> What's the point of all this? You should ask Dr. Penelope Hornwright for help when you see I her. I feel like I recognize that name. Is she good with robots? I can do electrical stuff, but hacking and whatnot is beyond me. You probably recognize her last name from her family business. Oh, of course. We were planning to pick apart one of those air purifiers to see if we could get them going again. I'll have to ask her about that too. I feel like I recognize... Excellent! Thank you for the heads up. I was just going to read Paige's diary to find out who to talk to. So, what's the point of all this? Wow, existential. For a perfectly preserved slice of pie, maybe? I'd kill someone for a great slice of pie, full disclosure. If you help me find the robot, we can find a spy suit, and then I can wear the spy suit for the vault job. Got it? Alright, see you later. Got a liberator to nab. Be safe out there. I get that some of the folks here are really afraid of the Scorch Beast, but for me, it's the giant ugly toads. Ugh! Makes more sense. Didn't see the collect part at first. I'd much rather like to be able to spawn inside, like inside this room with Meg, or in inside the underground for foundation. the next part of this quest. Now we gotta go find the suit.
Let's go. Load in already. Sonny got a new shipment in. Gotta go check it out. Thanks again for letting us know. Oh, quite welcome. Ah, hello again. Put that robot on my workbench, will you? Should have built that house long ago. Ah, hello again. Put that robot on my workbench, will you? What's up, Buttercup? I'll be honest. I was hoping you'd have the mother load just hanging around your room, Benny. Oh no, there's no room for that. Though knowing her, she may yet try to make an appearance. <laughs> so do you want the logs from this robot? Yep. Look for an entry that begins with 58 when you're in. That should list any entries related to our target. These logs look encoded, but like nothing I've seen before. I see the numerical headers you mentioned, though. The entry you're looking for would have been broadcast daily since about 11 years ago. Just read the stuff in brackets at the end when you find it. Found it. The part in the brackets says BAI2, QUAN2, YUAN2, and then the number 7. I'm afraid that's all Chinese to me. As in, it's actually Chinese. To everyone. Uh, oh, White Spring. Duh. Why seven, though? Hmm. Oh, seventh hole on the golf course, maybe. Wait, you don't. Do you? What, speak Chinese? I mean, it's been a while, but yeah. Wait, so my mom's last known location was a golf course? I don't get it. I can't imagine there's anything spy worthy there. What the heck would she be doing there? Are you saying what I think you're saying? Yes, they were spies. My parents were spies. They're both dead, all right? I was born here. I don't know about any of that. No, 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 I don't care about. I mean, you're looking for spy gadgets? That's like a dream project. Can I see everything when you get back? Uh, sure. That'd be great, actually. It had this biometric encoding, and I think it'll work for a close relative like me. But, um, l l let's talk later. You said you're recalibrating the robot. To do what, exactly? To find the tech if it's still nearby, and not shoot at anyone along the way. Maybe if you take it to the seventh hole, it'll pick up the signal again. I'll get the lab ready for when you get back. Be safe out there, you two. Uh, you She's not coming with me. I guess she is. You're cool and all, but like, your family was communist and I'm the general. So, yeah, conflict of interest. And they're gonna be a communist and you know, it's a little slippery slope. Wow, I feel like we're actually finally going to find it after talking to Penny. I've never been this close. So, you ready to go? I actually have some questions. Okay. Ask me anything you want to know. <laughs> I really want to say that one, but it's not my settlement. Why didn't you just say so earlier? Because it's complicated. It's hard to know how someone will react, even though I'm not responsible for my parents' actions. What's China like? And she said she was born here, so it's, this is a dumb question. I honestly have no idea. I was born here sometime after the war, and I lived here my whole life. Mostly in the capital wasteland. My parents didn't talk about it much. 
I know they didn't want to go back. That they weren't supposed to have me or fall in love with each other. We were just a normal family of survivors. Except sometimes my parents had to go do things. Then one day, my mom just never came home. <laughs> That's brutal. Uh, sorry, that must have been rough. I don't think anyone's ever prepared for that kind of loss. I feel like I need to find her so I can move on, but I also don't feel ready for it. Yeah, my parents died in the vault too. They died of bureaucracy. your parents were spies, how do I know you're not a spy? I'm telling you that I'm not. Are you exactly like your parents? Why should I trust you? You shouldn't trust anyone out here. Not really. Just let my actions speak for themselves. Alright, that's everything I wanted to talk about. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, I'll head to White Spring. Sounds like a plan. Oh, don't forget our little recalibrated friend here. You should consider this place a fresh start. They took me in years ago and became my family. They could be the same for you. No oh, thanks. Bye, Tutti Fruity. You're welcome at my house anytime. The rest of these people, oh, not so sure. if I can look these people up in the database of White Springs. Although if they would have known they were spies, they probably would have tried to hunt them down. Something going on. Whoa, lag. Big time.
Oh, that's why they gave me a minigun. Thanks for the useless junk. Alright, let's get this party started. Oh, Penny showed me how to send a transmission to your pit boy directly. In case you didn't know why you're hearing my voice then. I'm not a ghost, I swear. It looks like the Liberator is homing in on the last known location of the tech now. Which, I guess I don't need to tell you, since you're probably watching the little things scoot around right now. Unless you left it all alone in the world to loot something. I'd understand if you did. Robots are slow. Oh, I talked to Paige, and we're all good here. He gets that we don't pick our parents. Stuff was always hard with him. He's been better with the Foundation crew. Whoa! Hey! Lots of new signal contacts. Are you coming up on Beijing or something? I'm getting suited up now. I'll head out as soon as I can. Just gotta be careful out there, okay? I didn't see it pop up. started talking but I didn't see anything up here Penny here looks like your little robot buddy blew up oh well you must have really given it a good conk when you found it usually these little guys stick their landings a lot better Jen's already out the door, but it'll probably take her a while to make it over to you there, wherever you are, somewhere in the green. You should look around. Never know what you might find. Bring back a souvenir for your best buddy, Penny, won't you? go back or not. Oh, you know, 
that's not a good idea. Let's get out of here. Come back to this spot. Go to the looks again like it says follow the liberator but I couldn't follow him last time so he might even been in here I just don't see him it's like bugged or something eyes only. <clears throat> It's not in my inventory. What the hell? So it's four of the presidents.
take it. Yeah. This here is James Addison of the White Spring Resort staff. I tell you, they never thought I would tell him the truth, but I found it. I swear by all that is holy, I found it. I knew it was there all along. <laughs> See, it started with the rumbling. We had some minor earthquakes. You heard me right. Earthquakes of all things in this neck of the woods. I knew something. I was gonna prove them all wrong. All the other people at the resort just laughing at me. Well, who's laughing now? I just discovered a fucking underground spaceship and the rocket fuel leaking off of that thing. Hell, it's making even the rocks glow. I gotta tell the president. I gotta tell the president if it's the last thing I do. I'll be American hero. Get to Medal of Honor, I bet. All right, enough talking. Time to swim back home to glory and to wiping that damn smirk off Robbie's face! James out! Remember the spaceship he found? Die. Oops, didn't need that.
still suit before the end of three. Starting the episode. Leads me back to here. What is the marker?
I don't know. There doesn't seem to be another path on that side. right here. Oh crap, there's got me soldiers. underwater. Lagging out when I'm switching weapons. I will know. <laughs> what was that? It sounded German. It didn't sound. It didn't sound Chinese. This is 
is what I'm using. 45. Five damage. They're both 185. facility. They were like right next door. The White Springs. Good job, Commander. Sorry, I don't speak the language. No habla.
Damn, I don't speak the language. You're infiltrating my country. You at least speak the language when you yell at me. The war's over. Hello. Please, Commander.
Whoa, what the hell? Don't. Finally, I don't want to the reason fight. you came here. Agent Mochow, Mochu. I don't want any trouble. I'm here against my will. You don't look like a prisoner in that spy suit. All right. Even though I already know, her daughter said it would, be, it was le DNA based, and it would work for her just like her mom. So it's got to be her mom. Yes, I can see why that would be confusing. Not all of us have the luxury of choice. They threatened to kill my family if I didn't work for them. From what I have overheard on these listening devices, you are working with my daughter. She's on her way here. Right now, I didn't want her to have to witness the inevitable. But here we are. We should wait for Jen to get here before continuing this conversation. This ends the same either way. She shouldn't be long now. Based on the proximity warnings on that console. Hey, there you are. I'm here. I caught up. Ma? This is you, Ma? Wait, how can you be alive, Mom? Why are you here? What is this place? Jen, why would you come here, you foolish child? You need to leave. We came here looking for your corpse. I needed a suit, but I buried Dad with his years ago. I couldn't get it off. He was killed in it. I didn't know you were alive down here. How could I? You left. Just don't move, okay? I'm trying to think of a way where you walk out of this. Where we don't just kill you along with everyone else down here. I don't have anything more to say to you. No, oh, I guess I can't ask the questions now. I can't believe what's happening. I was certain that they killed her, but here she is, working for them? It's too much to consider. Whatever she's done, she's still your mother. I don't think she had much of a choice. How can someone do that to their own child, though? How do you just leave them to make their own way in this world? It's asking a lot for me to forgive her. Okay. Skill check. This is... I can't... How can someone do that? It's asking a lot for me to forgive her. You don't have to forgive her today. You just have to save her life today and then work on forgiving her tomorrow. I... think I can do that. Mom? What do you say? What if I can help you hide out? We can make it work, can't we? So, how does this work? How can we save you? Let's figure this out. I'll have to go into hiding and destroy the suit. They're tracking it. We might be able to shield the signal from the suit once or twice. But are you willing to give it up after using it? We don't have much time to decide.
without having seen the device, I can't be sure, but it might be possible for Penny or I to create tracking countermeasures. You're probably right. I don't want anyone to be in danger because of it, but I trust both Penny and yourself to find a way. I'll finish up here and then meet you back at Foundation, okay? I need a moment. Thank you. Can I talk for to sparing my life? I never yeah, no expected problem. to be reunited with Jen, my treasure. I'm still very worried, but thank you for your part in this. Thank you for sparing my life. I'll meet you back at Foundation, okay? Yep, and it's time to end the episode. And with my last shotgun round. Like every every time we get into a communist bunker. And the episode here. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your part in this.